Families are made homeless. On average, each child will miss 11 weeks of school, nearly a whole term, before the family settles down. As a result, homeless children are twice as likely to leave school with no qualifications. Sarah should be doing her GCSEs this year, but can't get to school. I did suggest to my mum that I still go to school, and then we figured out how much it would have cost, like in bus fare. And we said, no, because it would have cost it too much, because I, I would have had to go on two different buses in the morning and two different buses at night. I was doing well at school, but when I do go back, I think that I'm going to struggle a bit because I haven't done new work for a while. I feel like a school dropout when I haven't actually dropped out, but that's what it feels like inside. My brain's just stopping, thinking, well, she's not at school, so why should I work for her? <laughs> it's hard, because I want to learn, because it's my last couple of years at school now, and they're the main ones get all your like, GCSEs and A-levels and stuff like that. But I don't think I'm going to do very well on them because of what this has done and held me back. Hey, Mr Squirrel! Mr Squirrel! Sarah's friend in the bed and breakfast, Chloe, is also missing school at the moment. Chloe's mum has been trying to get her school to send homework, but they say Chloe is no longer their responsibility. I was going to ask if there's any chance Chloe's teacher would be able to sort out some work for her to do until obviously, you know, we get somewhere else. Yeah, the thing is, if you're out of county, uh, you should attend a local school. So we're well, we don't, well, hopefully it's only going to be for a week. Yes, but even so, if you've moved address, it's out of county. There's no way that we could do that. We're not responsible. No. Uh, then, as I say, after two weeks, she'll automatically be taken off the register. Yeah. That's how it works. Right. 14 take away something equals 9. So you've got to count from 14 to 9. So it's 14, 13, 12, 11. You can go take this to school with me and show them all the maths you've done while you've not been there. Like Charlotte's family in Taunton, Chloe's parents are waiting for the council to judge whether it was their fault that they lost their home. If they decide the eviction could have been avoided, then they will be ruled intentionally homeless and the council will no longer have any obligation to house the family. The decision that we are looking at is intentionality. Um, so I'll get so what is the exact decision then? It that we won't, you won't let us have another council house? No, that we've, we've found you intentionally homeless, so we won't have any, any further duty other than to provide you with a bed and breakfast just in the short term while, you know, while you look for something. Okay, okay then. All right then. All right then. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. They're not accepted for another council house. Um, we practically turned around and said we've made ourselves homeless, so they haven't got. We to made ourselves homeless. Yeah, so they haven't got to give us another house. Oh, I don't believe this. They treat you as if you like nothing. They claim, well, it's your own fault. Get on with it. We're not interested. My main fear is we'll be in the bed and breakfast for a long time. I just don't want to be stuck in one room, basically. I just end up climbing the walls. Come on out the way then, because this is hot. Life in bed and breakfast also means that families can't prepare meals in the way they would in their own home. Leave it, because it's very hot. We've got no cooking facilities, we've got a kettle. That's all we've got. The kids aren't getting proper meals. They need proper meals, and all we seem to be living on at the minute is sandwiches and hot noodles, because we can't have anything cooked unless we go out and pay for it. My mum found out that we couldn't have dinner or tea here, because you had to pay for it, like, there and then. So at the beginning of the day, you decide you want beans and sausage or something tinned, put it on the radiators before you go out, and then it's warm at tea time. <laughs> That's what we found out. <laughs>
part six. Charlotte, it's ten past six. Dad comes in and waits up at six. And then we've got to get ready by half six, go and have our breakfast, and then we leave at quarter to seven. And then to get the bus, and then the bus leaves at ten past. Dad, where are our trainers? Um. The bus takes about an hour and a half to get into my night. But I don't like getting the bus all the time because I get really bad travel sick. If I'm nice and quiet to mum and dad, they'll be like really nice to me. But if I'm like loud and start mouthing off at them, that's when they'll like start shouting at me. And then I'll shout back and then I'll get rude back at them and say, oh, I'm better off going and caring enough him. But I'm not because I don't want to go and care. I just like, it's something I'll stay to hurt them. I can't help it sometimes. Like, I used to be like, really quiet in school, but now I'm like all loud. <gasps> if someone says something to me I don't like, like any other teachers, I'll just snap back at them and then they'll tell me to get out and I'll argue with them saying why you started it and everything. And then that's how I get in trouble at school. So I just can't help it you sometimes. Sit there. You stay there. You move and I'll smack your backside, right? Right? I'm sitting there and he right? moves me. Do you understand? I'm not sitting there. Do you there. understand? Yeah. Laughing. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face later on, boy. I've told my teachers, like, I can't do homework. Well, I only do, like, really easy stuff that I can, like, do it, like, with noise. But I've got my transfer test coming up soon, and we've got to revise, so I'm just going to have to shut off all the noise, but sometimes it's hard to do that. So I've just got to do my best. Taunton Council has now agreed to help Charlotte's family and let them stay in the hotel for six weeks. But with schools in Minehead, Charlotte and her brothers face a three-hour round trip every day. Listen, go straight to the beach bar because it'll be drier there, but the latest you can get there is half four because the bus is ten to five. Go straight to school, all right? Mean it. No bunking. In 2002, the government passed a new law forcing local authorities to give homeless families more choice when looking for a home. In practice, this has meant that many councils now put properties on the internet, so the homeless have to go to their local library to bid against each other online. The more desperate a family situation and the longer they've been homeless, the more points they have. Three bedroom, first floor flat, gas central heating. Beer garden, close to supermarket, on bus route to town centre. Yeah, 118 people applied for that. <gasps> You've got no chance. Especially if that was like, if you've got to be connected with the local council, we've got no chance. But there is some good news for the family. While they're moving from place to place, Minehead Post Office has been keeping their mail. Got a letter from Magna. Today, there's a letter from the same housing association which insisted they move out of their friend's house three weeks ago. Now, it's offering to put them on the list for a home. I'm writing to confirm you that you are now registered on the Magna West Somerset Open House and Register. <laughs> Your application has been placed in Band A General. Well, that's good news, the fact that we've been accepted onto their register. They've not had it against us that we went to Sherry's, have they? And she's no. still got a home. It's good. Things are starting to look up. Yeah. Maybe we won't have to live in the bus shelter after all. <laughs> Quite a nice one, though, isn't it? Stinks in here, though, doesn't it? Stinks a wee in here. <laughs> Back horses here. Right, Curtis, you've got a pot noodle. They didn't have much down there. Yay! It's going to be hot because it's been cooked, so that's why I got you a pot noodle. The children would normally have been showered and had their tea by now and be thinking about going to bed. One more. Just one more. One more. And it's all gone, yeah? One more. Especially Dot, because Dot's the one that is just crying all the time when she's tired. Oh, look, Dot, look, there's, there's one more left. Yeah? It's well past Dot's bedtime. One more. That's it. Last one. Last one. Oh, this is definitely the last one, definitely. I don't want that one. You don't want that one. It's definitely the last one. Right, let's wipe them out then. Mate.